Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use the Nespresso Aerochino Milk Frother. So it's a simple process and I will be walking you through it in a step-by-step -step manner in this tutorial video. So let's get right to it. Basically, as you can see, I have plugged in the machine. I have plugged in the milk frother. And if you take a look inside, there is one cap right there. And there is a second cap on here, which is the lid. And it's sort of, uh, it's magnetically stuck to the lid, which is really cool. And it's magnetically held in place over there too, which is really cool. So this is the cap that will basically heat the milk and make it a little bit thicker. Um, and this is the cap that will really froth the milk. This one is basically for uh, lattes. If you are going to make a latte, this is the one that you would use. And if you are going to make a cappuccino, this is the one that you would use. Okay, so uh, for today's video, I will simply be making a latte. So I will want to use this one. So I'm going to put this one on that little piece right there, that little circular piece. And it just magnetically goes into place. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put this one back on the lid. And once again, it magnetically goes into place. So basically, you have to pour the milk into the machine. Now, you'll notice that there are two lines. This one says max, and this one says max. The bottom max level is for when you are using this piece right here. So if you are using that piece right there, uh, this one right here, then you would only fill up the milk up to that level. If you are for the, you would fill it up to that level maximum. If you are using this one right here, you can fill it up to this level maximum. So I'm going to fill it up to roughly that level right there because I'm using that piece. So I'm just going to pour the milk in there, just like that. Okay, and <clears throat> basically all that you have to do is put the cap on. And take note of where this little indentation is right there. You can see where my finger is. There's a little indentation. Do not match that indentation up with this, with this gap over here. Um, or else you may have an overflow depending on how much milk you have poured into the machine. So I have put the cap on and now I'm going to start the Aerochino milk frother. I have two options. I can do the hot option which heats up the milk by simply pushing the button or I can do the cold option which affects the milk but it keeps it cold. So it will create the cappuccino milk, it will froth the milk, it will thicken the milk but it will keep it cold and to do that I have to hold the button down for two seconds. I'm going to do the hot option so I'm just going to push the button just like that and as you can see it lights up red and now all that I have to do is wait until the frothing process has finished alright so as you can see the button is no longer illuminated and that means that the process has been finished so I'm just going to remove the lid just gonna pull it off and then as you can see I have steaming hot nice and frothy milk and this is perfect just as I said before for the latte that I am making this morning um, as you can see in here I have uh, made some espresso and I'm going to combine it with this milk and I'm going to make a delicious coffee drink and all that you have to do is literally remove the machine like this and pour out the milk. But that's basically it. That is how to use the Nespresso Aerochino Milk Frother. In this video tutorial, I have shown you all of the steps that are required to use this machine. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.